causes and events leading up to our entry into the war. Well, what are the causes? Why are we Americans on the march? Is it because of... Pearl Harbor? Is that why we are fighting? Or is it because of... Britain? Norway. Poland. Albania, Yugoslavia, or Russia. Just what was it made us change our way of living overnight? What turned our resources, our machines, our whole nation into one vast arsenal, producing more and more weapons of war instead of the old materials of peace? What put us into uniform, ready to engage the enemy on every continent and every ocean? What are these two worlds of which Mr. Wallace spoke? The free and the slave. Let's take the free world first, our world. How did it become free? Only through a long and unceasing struggle inspired by men of vision. Moses. Muhammad. Confucius. Christ. All believe that in the sight of God, all men were created equal. And from that there developed a spirit among men and nations, which is best expressed in our own Declaration of Freedom. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. It is the cornerstone upon which our nation was built, and the ideal of all the great liberators, Washington, Jefferson, Garibaldi, Lafayette, Kosciuszko, Bolivar, Lincoln. Lighthouses lighting up a dark and foggy world. That government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Fighting, living, dying, for what? For freedom, that for which men have fought since time began, to be free. Is life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, almighty God. I know not what course others may take, 
But as for me, give me liberty or give me death.